welcome. Today is Thursday, the second week of Easter. Our presider's Father Bill entered song, Praise to the Lord. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty, the King of creation. O my soul, praise him, for he is our help and salvation. All you who hear, now to the altar draw near, joining in glad adoration. We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. We take a moment and we ask the Lord for continued forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Now may God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who for the salvation of the world brought about the Paschal sacrifice, be favorable to the supplications of your people, so that Christ, our High Priest, intercessing on our behalf, may, by his likeness to ourselves, bring us reconciliation, and by his equality with you, free us from our sins. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the court officers had brought the apostles in and made them stand before the Sanhedrin, the high priest questioned them. We gave you strict orders, did we not, to stop teaching in that name? Yet you have filled Jerusalem with your teaching and want to bring this man's blood upon us. But Peter and the apostles said in reply, we must obey God rather than men. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus, though you had him killed by hanging him on a tree. God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to grant Israel repentance and forgiveness of sins. We are witnesses of these things, as is the Holy Spirit, whom God has given to those who obey him. When they heard this, they became infuriated and wanted to put them to death. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Blessed the man who takes refuge in him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy remembrance of them from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them. And from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit 
he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them all the Lord delivers him. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard, but no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does not accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. But the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not ration his gift of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life, but whoever disobeys the Son will not see life, but the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I always wondered what it would have been like as we listened to the Acts of the Apostles and being made, like we say, a fly on the wall or in the corner listening to the, the Apostles dealing with the Sanhedrin and telling them what they are called to do, knowing that if they profess that they believe in Jesus the Christ, that he rose from the dead, that they would cause them persecution and even death. What would, it would have been, what would it have been like to be there, knowing that they are so steadfast in their love for God, the Father, Son, and Spirit, that they would sacrifice their lives to profess that truth? We run into that today, especially today, where we are called to be, to give testimony to who Jesus the Christ is. It can be in our families, it can be in the workplace, it can be a place of recreation. But many times we are given that opportunity to make a choice. Do we truly profess that we are followers of Jesus Christ? Or do we just sort of go by the wayside or just let it go because it's easier to do that? We are called to do the difficult thing in professing that Jesus is the Christ, that he is our Savior. By right of our baptism, we are called to do that, to let people know who Christ truly is, who God the Father is, who God the Holy Spirit is. And today, the example we're given is in the apostles in front of the Sanhedrin. They say that the truth is Jesus Christ, and they are called to profess that, regardless of what the outcome may be for them. We gather together our prayers as we profess Christ our Lord. For those who hear the word of the Lord today, may they taste and see the Lord is good. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our bishops, priests, and deacons, 
May they find respite and rest in their lives, which they have devoted to preaching the gospel. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are persecuted because of their faith, may they receive protection. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a renewed dedication to collaboration and compromise in our daily lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick in our parish, especially Joanne Schlemmer, Connie and Ed Archuleta, Tom Ganibas, Tammy Wilson, Kathy Sarnecki, Bill Alexander, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Tony Spano, Teresa Schuler, Dave Raglan, Elizabeth Lovely, for whom this Mass is being offered, and all victims of violence, especially in the war-torn areas of our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the petitions written in our Book of Petitions, and for all the intentions we hold silently in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we ask you to hear all of our prayers and grant these good things through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. So blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, with all the angels and saints, we join in their unending hymn of your glory as we acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on all of us, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our oh, Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, 
My peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. For you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we, called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray.
almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ. Increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> and with your spirit. May God continue to bless all of us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. 